My name is Hua Xi, and today I'm going to introduce you guys simple linear regression. So let's start with definition of linear regression. So linear regression, uh, in statistics, linear regression is a linear approach to modeling the relationship between uh, dependent and independent variables. In the case of that in the case of one exp explanatory variable is called a simple linear regression. So there are several assumptions of linear regression. The first assumption is linearity. So the relationship between x and y, they must have linearity. And second, normality, which means that um, dependent and independent variables, they should have normal distribution. And third, homoscedasticity. So, which means the variance of residual is the same for any value of x. So, independence means that um, observations are independent of each other. So, if you want to know more about assumptions and the definition, you can just w simply visit this website. So, here, this is the simple linear regression equation. So, b0 is intercept b1 is the coefficient of x, x is independent variable, y is dependent variable. So let's start with um, importing packages. So for our project, the first thing we need to do is import packages. So like pandas, numpy, and matplotlib, zburn, those are common used packages. So these two are for data visualization. So after we uh, import packages, let's uh, load the data so here i used panda read uh, read csv because our data type is csv if our data type excel just using the excel here excel like this let's see uh, csv so so after we load the data let's take a look at first five rows of our data so as we can see that there are a lot of columns and here I'm just I'm just gonna use uh, square foot of living here as independent variable and price as uh, dependent variable. So next thing is to declare dependent and independent variables. So I will call the independent variables as input and dependent variable as target. So I will select column here from our data df. So after we declared uh, dependent variables, and then let's check the missing value. So just simply using is now dot sum here, it will return um, the total number of missing value in one column. So it seems that we don't have any missing value, so let's just keep going on. So the next step for linear regression is just to check the distribution for dependent and independent variable. So here I will go to do first for the independent variable. So here I used Seaburn. Seaburn, uh, this plot is really easy to use as long as you just put the one column, then it will return the distribution of one column. So this, this the first graph shows that the original data distribution is, is more skewed, right skewed. However, after I transform the data use numpy log, and then I plot the distribution plot here, it shows it's more normal distributed and symmetric. And then the mean of this transformed data is around 7.5. Uh, similarly, when I check the dependent variable distribution, the original data distribution is very skewed. And then after I take log to transform the data and to check the distribution is normal distributed and then symmetric. So after we check the distribution, let's go ahead to check the linearity and then uh, uh, homoscedasticity. So this plot, the, this scatter plot shows the um, relationship between x and y. Somehow x and y have some relationship between each other because when we uh, we can see that when x increase, y also increases. However, it's not uh, homoscedasticity; it's more heteroscedasticity because we want to uh, satisfy assumption. So how to satisfy assumption? Let's try. Let's try use the uh, transform the data here. So this this plot is much better, much much better because we are able to see that all the points of variance are more con uh, consistent. 
and x and y have a linearity so which so um which means that we we will using transform the data to do the linear regression so there another way to check the distribution and the linearity uh, we can use a seabrain joint plot uh, this, this plot is more fancy so not only we can check the distribution for uh, uh, x and y but also it will show you the scatter plots and then the regression line here of course this is the uh, joint plots before transformation and this is the uh, joint plots after transformation so it's more normal distributed and then more linearity and homoscedasticity so after we uh, checked everything now let's declare x and y using transform the data so next part is linear regression part modeling part so in this part i will introduce two different packages the first one is sklearn and the second one is uh, stats model uh, both of them they all they also have uh, packages for linear regression they do the same thing um, that is really up to you and then both of them they have advantages and disadvantages so let me introduce us calendar first uh, the first thing we need to do of course let's uh, import packages from sklearn linear model import linear uh, regression so after that here there's a little thing that i have to mention that you need to reshape uh, x value because x is uh, one independent if we have several independent variables that's fine but if we have only one independent we need to reshape because uh, sklearn requires 2d array and then after we reshaped x let's fit the model fit the model in this part it will doing the machine learning stuff here and then after that we need to get some results so here first thing i want to explain is score score means r squared so r squared represents how good our model is so uh the range of r squared is around is uh, zero to one which means uh zero percent to one per hundred uh, percent and the higher uh, score we have the better model we have so it seems that our uh, uh, R squared is lower than 50% which means that our X itself it cannot explain our dependent variable uh, very well because the price is not only deter is not only determined by uh, square feet of living but also the basement the square square feet of basement and then the transformation condition and a lot of factors will affect the price not only uh, the square feet of living that makes sense right and then they intercept we're just simply using the rect of intercept and the little little line here we're able to get the intercept so this one can explain more clear when our when the square feet of living equals to zero this log of uh, square feet of living equal to zero then a uh, log of price will equals to 6.72 and then the coefficient here coefficient equals to 0 0.83 so this means that when log of square feet of living increase one unit log of price will increase 0 0.83 unit so the next part is the predict prediction so based on based on our um, coefficient and then intercepts simply plug in those two into this equation then we are able to predict our price and using x however sklearn is more easy to use because we just use the use use um, this dot predict building function so we are able to get the y hat here then let's plots predicted value versus actual values so here this line is the, our is our regression line and this plot these little dots are actual values and the other thing that i want to mention is some people says that some researchers says that um our dependent and independent variable are not necessary to be normal distributed as as long as the residual so distribution is normal distributed that will be fine so here residual means that the difference between actual value and the predict value 
so here this is the distribution it looks like mm, a little bit normal distributed but not really good so next part I will, I will also introduce uh, linear regression with the stats model so it's not different way it's just using different m packages to doing the same thing so of course the first thing we need to do is import package and then fit the model so here I want to mention I want to mention that uh, we need to add constant otherwise there is no intercept so after that now this is one this is one advantage of a stats model it will return uh, uh, like table results table and everything is very clear not only we ha we can see like r squared here and but also it also give you the method and dependent variable and this is the intercept this is coefficient of log of square feet of living right so but th there is this advantage is, is if we have several independent variables we cannot manually add, uh, type their uh, intercept so if we have more than one or two uh, independent variables then we can use uh, sklearn because we have this uh, built-in function here however if we have one or two Mm, that will be fine because we can simply ma uh, manually simply and manually enter and type the uh, coefficients and then intercept here so let's doing the predict here and then plot predict values and actual values so actually this plot and this graph are same in just different colors and of course we also got the same results so this is the residual distribution and that's it so if you have any questions please uh, leave some uh, questions below and then thank you for watching please give me a like and share